हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज़ शर्मिन एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग थ्रू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज बेम विच स्टैंड फॉर ब्लॉक एलिमेंट मॉडिफायर ओके सो बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट बेम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सी एस एस अ बिट सो वट एग्जैक्टली सी एस एस सी एस एस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गिविंग स्टाइल टू योर वेबसाइट राइट सो वेन यू फर्स्ट स्टार्ट राइटिंग योर सी एस एस इट इज़ वेरी ईजी एंड यू नो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी ईजी टू मेंटेन योर सी एस एस राइट बट एज यू कीप राइटिंग मोर एंड मोर सी एस एस इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू मेंटेन दैट फाइल राइट एंड इट कैन बी अ नाइट मेयर इफ यू डोंट राइट थिंग्स इन अ प्रॉपर वे राइट सो टू सॉल्व दिस एंड टू मेक योर सी एस एस मोर ईजी टू मेंटेन वी हैव नेमिंग कन्वेंशन आउट देर देर आर मेनी नेमिंग कन्वेंशन बट वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट नेमिंग कन्वेंशन इज बेम so bem is what i personally use and i feel that it is the easiest naming convention ever to follow all right so we will practically go and see how we can um, give names to our classes using the bem naming convention and yeah it's going to be fun so without wasting time let's start so here bem bem stands for block element modifier all right so here block means the main element or the main block okay then element is your anything which is attached to that block okay and modifier is if there is any change in that element then you can add a modifier to that element now here we have a div and we can give it a class name of for example main so this becomes our block okay here the main class becomes our block all right and we have a heading tag inside of it right so here we can give this a class of main underscore underscore heading all right so this becomes your element over here okay so in bem block is just a name for example it can be main or main sorry main content any of these can be your blocks okay you can give your block a name like any name you wish to and then the element is always after a double underscore okay you give a double underscore and then you give the name to its attached any element that is attached to it you can give it a name after its two underscore okay main and then for example you have a heading okay so this is your element and also here you can give it a main underscore underscore content or any name you wish after two underscore which means it is your element okay your block is a top top portion over here okay this div right this is your block which has a class of main all right and then you have the heading inside of it over here it is the this is the heading right so similarly you can even have a class which says main underscore underscore content so this becomes your element this becomes the element of your block main right content is your element of block main so this is how you name your elements okay after your blocks this is how you name your block this is how you name your element okay and the block can be anything you can have a name like uh main home content can have any name with one hyphen all right so and then for example if you give it a name of main home content then you can just copy this the block name and then double underscore and then you can have your element name for example heading over here right now let's see the modifier as well here to the form for example if we give it a class of form and here to the input we give it a class of form underscore underscore input okay so this is your element okay your input is the element of the block form so similarly if we give this class to all the three inputs over here and this cannot be input this is your submit button so let's give this a class of uh, form underscore underscore submit now input right now here we saw how we can give name to blocks we saw how we can give name to elements now we'll see how we can name our modifiers now here we have the form 
this is our block right the form is our block and then we have the element which is the form underscore underscore input right we use the underscore for the to name our uh, elements now to name our modifier now for example uh, why do we use uh, element and modifier what is the exact difference is uh, your element okay what your element will do is it will just be binded to your block there is nothing special for giving names to your elements it is just that those are binded with your block right so that's the reason they are your elements and modifiers uh, as the name suggests if you want some modification in your elements then you can use modifiers right so we have elements where we have the block form here we have the element form input and now the second input we don't want it to look like we don't want the first and the second input to look same okay we want some modification in our second input only so what you can do is you can give this a form underscore underscore input and then double hyphen for a modifier okay we use a double hyphen for a modifier for example we want it to be red or for example we want it to be disabled this makes more sense so this is your modifier all right form underscore underscore input this is your element and then double hyphen and disable this is your modifier so you can give a different uh, style or a different functionality or anything to your modifier so this is how exactly bem works we have three things we have a block we have an element and then we have the modifier so block is your main container in which you will be having your elements and modifiers so for example if you have a block saying form and then you have inputs inside of it you can give it a name of form underscore underscore input which will become your element and if it's a modifier you give a double hyphen so what this will do is it will help you to really maintain your css why because bem is used by many people out there and if you also use bem uh, i mean there are people who maintain their css by their own codes and by their own ways but it becomes difficult for someone else to understand that right so like for example if you are working somewhere and you have written the css according to you like you know what logic you have used right but the other person out there he doesn't know he or she doesn't know the exact logic behind it right he or she will have to sit and just you know study the code to exactly understand what logic have you used right that is also a good practice no doubt but using bem i think makes it more easier because everyone out there knows what bem is and how to use bem so looking at the code it becomes easy for the other person to understand how exactly things are working and going so yeah using bem is very very beneficial and i think i personally feel if you use bem it becomes really easy to maintain your css and also it becomes easy for you to name classes and it really helps it helps me so i think it should help you as well so yeah try it out once and i'm sure you'll be good to go with bem so it is very simple you just need to get it get into practice to use bem so yeah that's it for today and uh, thank you so much for watching uh, consider subscribing my channel i'll be coming up with such videos frequently and if you got something out of this video do not forget to press the like button and yeah thank you so much for watching bye guys